Sorry about the handheld cell phone cam. Sorry about the fan noise. I got some prints going in the background. I had a ton of things going on right now, but I had to stop and do this video real quick because I discovered a thing. And I had to make a couple different circuits with blue pill boards. Now, a little while ago, I think I linked under a video to an Amazon.com page that had like a six pack of blue pill boards for 15 bucks or something like that. It was, it was pretty cheap. And like, if you have prime with free shipping, like why wouldn't you buy it? So like I grabbed a bag of those boards and uh, I hadn't gotten to them until just now. And like none of them seemed to work. So yeah, I finally got to the third one and I was like, this is stupid. I need to write down some of these error messages and then go online and see what's going on with these boards. And if nobody has any idea, I'm going to have to figure it out. And then I can't ship them back to Amazon because I already soldered headers on some of them. Anyhow, I found out that they are knockoff. The processors, the actual MCUs, they're, they're knockoffs. They're not real STM32s, but they work if you're uploading like over serial or if you have a, a sketch that uploads to USB because um, that doesn't know the difference. But if you're using an ST link, uh, where is it? If you're using an ST link like this, that checks like the device ID and the memory and all that stuff. So uh, it these don't pass the check because the core ID is different than what's supported. So if you use the open source ST link drivers, um, they recently updated them because a, there's apparently a rash of these going around and a, a bunch of people encountered this problem where they just can't upload anything to the board with the ST link. So they fixed it in the, uh, the ST-Link tools version. Well, I'll put a link to it, but version 1.5.11, I think, um, or 1.5.1. But anything under that doesn't have these boards IDs. So if you're having problems, if I feel guilty because I may have directed people to buy a bunch of like counterfeit boards. So if you're having this problem, download the new utilities and it should be fine. If you're on a Mac and you use uh, the Homebrew Package Manager for open source stuff, um, that's not updated yet, so you have to build it from source just like anybody else. But you don't need uh, an IDE or anything like that. You can do it just like with a make file. And um, yeah, let me show you how to do that real quick. So the files are right here. Just uh, go to GitHub, Texan, ST link and then uh, download a folder or unzip it and open up your terminal. And I'm not sure if you knew these, but you use Homebrew to install like CMake and AutoConf just in case. And then while you're at it, install LSUSB because I think you need that for this and it's nice to have anyway. Uh, drag your ST link or change directory, drag your ST link folder and hit enter. Then just make release and hit enter it'll go ahead and build that in a folder. Then you're gonna change directory to that build folder under release. So just put that in, hit enter, this is what's in the folder. You can see I already built it and whatnot. Um, then you just have to do a regular old make install and that'll put it in the usual place. So user, local, bin, and then ST flash. And you know, you can just run it from there. ST flash, write, you know, my awesome binary dot bin, and then your memory address, whatever that is. So I was in a hurry and I ended up having to use like uh, a Adafruit like Itsy Bitsy or whatever they're called, which was both fun and annoying all at the same time, but it did the job. But like I already soldered one together with like the double headers the way I like, so you could put it on a breadboard and still get like a little probe hook on there. And then I started soldering up a second one. I got halfway through and I was like, uh, let me test this and see if it's working. And it didn't. So I pulled a third one out and that didn't work either. So these were the ones, the wing and ear five pack, I guess. And I have a ton of these that I use for all kinds of stuff. Like this is the not at all janky, like uh, Trinamic uh, TMC 2209 test jig. So I figured I put them under a scope and like, this is what the good one looks like. And you can see this actually has the correct number on it, which is rare for these blue pills. Um, because they, they had some kind of mix up and like the families, there's the, the C8 version that has 62K of memory and then the CB version that has a ton under 128K. Usually these are sold as 64, but they have 128. This is what one of the bad like knockoffs looked like. That's just a nightmare. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't notice this, like just pulling it out of the bag. But some of the other non-working ones, they actually looked legit. And they had the, the regular old C8 number that you expect to see on there. 
And they do have uh, 64K of flash, not the 128, so you never know. Now, I don't. I think there was some kind of mix-up in the factory or something between, like, the CB and the C8, because that's just stupid. I mean, somebody should have looked at that and said, uh, hey, Bob, these chips are great and all, but, like, these names are stupid. Which brings me to an unrelated ramp, which is, like, clean, modern fonts. Which is annoying because you'll run in situations where they're like, yeah, put this password in the box. And you're like, oh, that password. Yeah, I totally know what that says. This, on the other hand, is a freaking usable font. Oh, I see. One capital I, lowercase l, zero, zero, capital O, capital O, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, that's a different complaint. So I'm going to try to get a Ender video out tomorrow. I was planning on a couple days ago doing something completely different, but... I, I just don't have the time, and it'll probably be um, something quick because I have a, a ton of stuff going on. But um, probably just the the squaring and alignment guide for for the assembly, so nothing super exciting. But I do definitely drill holes in my printer, so that's fun. Anyway, catch you there.